Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to use the count if statement in Excel 2010. The count if statement or function counts the numbers of cells within a range that meets a single criterion that you can specify. So for example you can count all the cells that start with a certain letter or you can count all the cells that contain a number that is larger or smaller than a number you specify. So in our example here we have a worksheet that contains a list of tasks. I've got 26 tasks listed here, each represented by a letter of the alphabet in column A, and the first name of the person assigned to each task in column B. In my team of people that I've assigned tasks here, I have three people. I have Tom, Dick and Harry. And I can use the COUNTIF statement to count how many times a person's name appears in column B and in that way determine how many tasks are assigned to that person. So even though I've just got 26 tasks here in my example, it's pretty hard to figure out at a glance how many tasks Tom has been assigned to or Dick or Harry. So we're going to use the count if statement to figure out how to do this. Now over here on the right hand side I've got the syntax of my COUNTIF statement and it's a relatively straightforward syntax. Uh, we specify the function name, COUNTIF, and in brackets we specify the range of data, the, of cells, uh, that we want to examine and the criteria that we want to test for. So an example of this might be uh, equals COUNTIF and then in brackets a data range, B2 to B27 in this case here, followed by a comma and in inverted commas the criteria that you want to test for in this example here we have Tom. So this statement will test for within this range how many times the word Tom appears. So let's go and do that in our little yellow table over here which is going to tell me the number of assignments for each of the three people on my team. So let me type in the COUNTIF statement for Tom. So this is equal, C-O-U-N-T-I-F, COUNTIF, and in brackets, uh, the data range, so I'm going to use my mouse to specify uh, cell B2 up here, uh, hold down the shift key and select cell B27 down at the bottom, and you can see Excel um, puts in the entire data range for me. I put in a comma, and then in inverted commas, uh, as this is the statement for Tom, I'm going to put in the word Tom here, and put in my closing inverted commas and closing brackets and press enter and we can see that the word Tom appears six times in the data range I've specified. In other words, Tom has been assigned six of the 26 tasks. Now let's do the same for Dick. In brackets, the same data range. A comma and this time in inverted commas I'm going to put in the word Dick. You can see that Dick has been assigned 11 tasks. And finally, Harry equals count if, in brackets, uh, data range again, use the same data range, but in select with my mouse. Excel puts that in for me. And in this case, then, I'm going to put in the word Harry. And my closing inverted commas are my closing brackets. And I can see that Harry has been assigned nine tasks. So if I wanted to, for example, have an even distribution of tasks here, I can now see that I could move some tasks from Dick down to Tom to try and even out the number of assignments. So that's how you use the count if statement uh, to uh, check for uh, within a range of cells a particular criterion that you want to specify. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.